So a few people have asked me recently, what am I using to make videos? And I just bought a new camera about four weeks ago, so I thought it was a good time to make this video. So I'm now shooting on the Canon M50. Before this, I had been shooting on the Canon 80D. And I switched over to the M50 because I was looking for a smaller camera, a lighter camera, something that I could take with me that would be uh, just easier to use. This camera has, I think, a very good autofocus and also uh, very good image stabilization. I'm not getting rid of the ADD. Right now I've got a telephoto lens on and I'll use it for other projects. But when I'm making videos out here in the shop, I'm looking for something really simple to use so I can really focus on the angle of the shot and not so much all the different functions in the camera. So I set the camera on auto, uh, 60 frames per second, full HD, and shoot away. Uh, so, so far I'm really happy with it. I shot the deck video on this camera. I shot the table saw insert video on this camera. And I'm shooting on the, cam the, uh, the Canon M50 right now. So that's what I'm using. Uh, for the microphone, I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro. This uh, microphone's about four or five years old now. I think it's pretty good audio in the shop here. I'm not crazy about it when I take the camera outside. So I think it maybe is time to start looking for a new microphone or uh, at least maybe getting a dead cat for this microphone because you can really hear the wind, I think, uh, with this microphone. Uh, but right now I'm using the Rode VideoMic Pro. For my editing software, I use iMovie and I'm using uh, an Apple MacBook Pro. For my voiceover work, I use a Yeti microphone. Uh, it's the Yeti Blue. And I'm not super crazy about the results I'm getting with this microphone, but it may not be the microphone. Uh, it's a good chance it could be where I'm recording, which is up in the art studio. And there's a lot of hard surfaces up there. And so it's probably not the best environment to record voiceover. You may know I'm turning my shed into a music studio for my kids. And once that's all said and done, uh, I'll probably start recording my voiceover in the music studio. I do all the editing of the voiceover with GarageBand on my uh, MacBook Pro. I also have a drone. I have the DJI Phantom 4. And I really like that. I'm not using it as much as I thought I would, although I do like it for the intro of the show. And I originally bought that, um, I call that a tool. You know, all your video uh, cameras and everything are tools. But I bought that tool for uh, uh, a documentary I was making about an artist up in Massachusetts who's a landscape artist and I wanted to get shots of the landscape with the drone. But um, I do like it and I think it adds something to, to the videos. And I think that is, is all that I use. I try to keep things really simple because I'm not a, a real tech guy. Uh, so when I'm out here in the shop, I'm really focusing on the project. And that's basically my process. I get out here in the morning, I start working on the project. And at the end of the day, I unload the camera and then sometime after dinner, I start editing down everything I shot. So the next day I get in the shop, I know where to start off again. So that's what I use and that's my process. I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, I hope I answered some questions. As always, thanks for tuning in and I'll see you soon.